Okay, now, this might send a shiver down your spine. Uh, I recommend you might want to put <laughs> down your yeah. scrap plates. Regardless of your uh, political leanings. And regardless <laughs> of your political leanings, Jack is already itching. If you're still in bed, then you might want to jump out of it, because what you're about to see <laughs> is what one pest control company has called the worst case of bed bugs they've ever seen. Yeah, pest Let's control firms look. in London say they've been inundated with calls about out-of-control oh, no. pests. I mean, that is... Oh, it's like an episode of The Young Ones. It's like when I went round to your house the other day. Oh, it's not, don't start that. <laughs> it's don't not, start that. What were you doing in Coach Bear? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Trust me, you go where you've got That's to go. That's a whole other story. Here. A whole uh, other story. Joined by pe pest control expert Dan Dobson. Dan, thank you for, for joining us this morning. Um, now, look, we've been talking a lot about this for the last month or so because of what we've seen in Paris. The questions are whether those bed bugs have come <laughs> across the Eurostar, come across trains, come across flights. <laughs> They are quite terrifying pictures. What's your sort of understanding of the increase in bed bugs and, and calls for pest control? Yeah, so I think uh, I know what the uh, the general thing is. Everyone's thinking, oh, it's been a massive infestation come fr from France all the way through the. They're trains. invading. Yeah. Well, it may be true that, in fact, they have. It, it could, you know, they could have come over there to, from some extent. They've already been here, and they've been here for a long time. It's just. When do you ever talk... If someone's got a bad case of bed bugs, or indeed any pest, you know, issue, when do you ever go, oh, do you know what, I've got... I've got this horrendous bed bug issue. Do you want to come for a cup of tea? Oh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not something you'd bring up when you go exactly. into the pub for a pint in the evening, is it? You're, it's not something to be proud of. That looks horrific. I mean, that looks like a horrifically filthy bed anyway. I don't mm. know what the circumstances were there. But is this something that you might not know you've got? Is this something that could be in your mattress? I mean, I have to say, I'm already scratching. I mean, mm. people are going to be feeling horrible when they think that this might be going on. Yeah, I mean, it, it, generally speaking, they're, they're going to be hiding in cracks, crevices, that type of thing. Ooh. You know, oh, literally, yeah, bed frames, any little, tiny little, you know, where the screws or where the seams of, of the mattress are. So gaps down the side of the mattress? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. And all the bedding, you know, even plugs on the walls, things like that, cra picture hooks, posters, things like that. What? So, uh, yeah, yeah, so to look at it... Um, you know, to look at it... What are you... they getting from the pitch hook, though? Is, it they, is that where they secrete themselves and then they wait, yes. up, wait till you're asleep and then they come for you? Yeah, exactly, Ooh. until it gets to an extent where there's too many of them, then they're just not bothered, they just come out and eat, you know, whatever, whatever they want to, yeah. And what are they feeding off in the bed? Sorry uh, to be blood. rude. Blood, yeah, so they're a biting insect oh. and they're going to penetrate the skin and extract blood oh, and then they'll gosh. feed the, the young, partially digested blood. That was Ian... Did someone say that's Ian's leg? <laughs> no, they didn't. That's not. Sorry, no. Sorry, I, mis I misheard. So, so if Jackie finds bed bugs in her drawers, what, what, should, what should she? Well, that's, that's what, you said, yeah, that's yeah, what you said at the beginning. That's what you said at the beginning. They hide in drawers. Oh, oh, no, not those kind of drawers. Oh, excuse me. You should call me immediately. <laughs> Dan, there you go. Dan's offering to come and sort your drawers I'm out. So Thank you. Oh, man. Uh, you have bought a little contraption with you, which anybody can get, and this is a good way of testing whether there might be. An infestation somewhere. Yeah, so very simple. Um, I mean, it is, it, you know, there's nothing technical about it. It is a box with a lure. Dan, in. Show it to camera one there, see if it's right behind you there. Yeah, yeah you so it's, it's a, a box there with a, with a, with a lure in. Um, it's essentially a sticky pad that these things come with, um, with um, a pheromone or a synthetic blood, which, uh, which attracts the bed bugs. And so these can go anywhere, and it's not just people's homes. Remember, people are picking these up from public transport, holidays, right. the Eurostar, right? So there's no reason why these companies should be jumping on these and actively putting these all over so people can... All you've got to do is this. You don't need to be trained. Is there something on there? Yes, there is. Get someone in to deal with it. So just to slow right. the Right. This is and a marketing is... scam, isn't it? <laughs> do you think it is? <laughs> yeah. They've done a good it's job. A little <laughs> bit like, it's a little bit like um, you can have them in your wardrobes to catch... Um... Lots. You know, exactly. Lots of yeah. yeah. And fair so amount, and it yeah. gives you a gives you an idea of what's there. And yeah. then apart from calling anybody in, is it, do you have to burn your mattress? Do you have to get what? What do you do? Uh, Asking for a friend, she is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, you're limited with things to do because these, you know, of course, like we 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 have chemicals and we have license to to, to use right. them, and they're not something that general public can you have can buy because they're dangerous. Yeah. 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 But you can buy so washing regularly above. I think it's 56 degrees, but right. any hot wash is going to kill any life cycle of anything. So if you put a pillow full of bed bugs in and eggs at 30 degrees, say for example, it, they can survive. If you if you hot wash it above, say if you do it at 60 degrees, um, you know above 56 degrees, that's going to kill everything. But 
more I'm importantly, so hoover in and just generally keep right. them clean and don't right. empty your hoover in your bin and then just walk away because they'll just crawl out of it. Oof. So, yeah. Well, you mean don't <laughs> empty it in the bin in the room? So, exactly. so if you, right. if you put it in the bin, outside. take it outside, yeah. put this it in your dustbin. Right. Yes. And, and steamers as well, you know, literally the yes. steamers you can buy, anyone can use that. You go across all the seams and everything ah. uh, and, and you, essentially you just kill them off with, with heat. Uh, but generally, it's going to be very difficult to get rid of uh, should you come across it and it's a heavier infestation. So it's more to do all that to prevent it? Uh, yeah, that's it, and getting on I'm top of it. I'm going to have fun Friday hours. night, aren't I? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be doing yeah. If anyone walks past Case Town, there's steam coming out of all the windows. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to steam the children, everything. <laughs> you yeah. will know exactly why. Do they go in dog beds? <laughs> uh, yeah, ah, well, they, good point. Yeah, yeah. They, can, they can do, actually, yeah, and it's the same thing, with, you know, but obviously... No pest control, unless they're half vet, half pest control can deal with that, other than treating the, the, the bed. But it's uh, right. people's responsibility to get their pets checked and, indeed, their children as well from school and nurseries. You know, with, like, I've got uh, some myself and you, you, they come back with all sorts. But it's everyone's responsibility to check them, you know, do, do everything they, they can and, and just get some of these. Um, and they'll make buy a these from anywhere. Yeah. You know. uh, Dan, thank you very much.